Monroe sailed on in darkness following the swan's voice, but he never saw a thing. Not the stars, not the swan, and certainly not the tree he got stuck in. When the clouds lifted, the swan was gone, leaving Monroe alone in the middle of an immense forest. Since there was nothing else to be done, he jumped. Whoa. An actual sky. This is somewhere really different from anywhere we've been to so far. Hmm. And because the screen is so dark right now, I just realized that my my controller, the little color part, it's actually changing colors. It's purple right now to signify the darkness, I would assume. All I have is black paint. Okay, that doesn't really help me with navigating. I guess we'll just walk towards the... Oh. Is that why my controller is purple? Because of this? Whoa! Where's the swan? Where am I? I'm in some type of ditch. Nope, it's all black here. I can't see. We'll just have to follow the sky. Oh my god, oh my god. No. Go away. Go away. Oh, light. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Did the light grow? Mm, it's not really increasing, it's just changing. The blackness goes away after a while. That's a good thing. It's already too black here. Hey! We can do this. Really cool touch, how they match the controller light color to this. Oh. Oh. I guess we just keep following the lights because going anywhere else is just a little too creepy. No castles, just a dark, creepy forest, and the usual swan prince. Which, while it's so dark right now, is actually a comforting thing. The one familiar thing that we've seen before. Oh, well, there's the, the statue again. What is that? Hello? Oh, what is this? A boat? I don't know. Ah! Uh, go away! <laughs> they actually did move! Okay, okay. No, no, no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Don't come here. Oh. There's two different ways to go. No. Shoo. Shoo. Could we just... Oh, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go this way. I feel like the... Um, the spiders are supposed to persuade me to go the other way. But we'll try anyway. Oh. Oh, I'm dying. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay, now we know. Don't touch the spiders. Don't touch. Don't touch. Let's go this way. Hurry up. Go away. Oh. Go, 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 go. I don't even know where that balloon was. 
Oh, okay, sure. Is that a balloon? Or is that just... That looks a little too round to be one of these pears. Where are we going now? Over there. Okay. Whoa, it's pretty far. I don't like this. But we gotta do it. Go! This place is scary! What's happening? It looks like we still got a long way to go. Oh, is that not a balloon? What is this? We're in a cemetery. Hey, don't roll away from me. Let's go together. Oh my god. I see you! I don't have time to look for balloons this time, okay? I'm so freaked out right now. Let's go, let's go. Do we want to go the other way? I don't think so. Oh. This is nice and all. But... No, little ball! You want to go this way? No? You can do it! Okay. Okay. I think we've made it past the worst. Oh, don't let it roll back down. Don't. Let's keep going. We good here? We're almost there. Oh! Is this not the island that we saw while we were at the... Um, chapter 2? No! No! Don't get away from me! Come on, come on. No, no, no. You and me, we're sticking together, buddy. Don't leave me. Oh. I think this is, though. That one island from the telescope. But I didn't think it would be this scary. Hey, where are you? Where are you? Okay. Let's go, let's go. Water? Forget it, forget it. Let's keep going. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You're too far, you're too far. The river. Oh, I can't. I can't swim. You gotta be slow, okay? Slow, please. I think we're doing okay so far. Oh, uh oh. Gotta go around. I can't even think right now because I'm so tense. Oh my gosh. Oh, forget the balloons. Oh, oh! Oh! No, 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 Ah! I got too far away. We gotta hurry. Keep up the pace. Really, forget about the balloons. What? Okay, okay, we got it, fine. Where do we go now? Oh, uh, there's some glowing mushrooms. Whoa, there are freaking spiders everywhere, man. This is not good. 
Are we? <gasps> that is a freaking. <gasps> I didn't even see it. Do you want to come back up? Onto the shore? What do I do with you? Get back up on the shore. Please. No? Okay. Well, I can't proceed alone. You gotta help me out here. Oh, okay. Let's go, let's go. Get away, get away. Everybody. <laughs> oh. I feel like this. Yeah, we're good, we're good. We're fine. We're doing perfectly fine. It's okay. Oh. Let's get onto the shore, please. scary things are there? Okay, stand here for a little bit, okay? Don't flow down, because I need to read... I need to read the thing. Stay here. Stay here. The king was tired of creating perfect kingdoms only to attract less than perfect subjects. He decided he'd have to leave a legacy the old-fashioned way, with a family. So he began to build one, starting with a house. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, I don't think. Yeah, so the thing we saw must have been his house. Holy oh, crap, it's dark. Hey, where's the... Oh, okay. We gotta go, we gotta go. No! Oh! His house! His house! Let's go this way. The king had never had much luck with people, so instead of trying to find a wife, he painted one. Oh my god. When she opened her eyes, the king was astonished. He had created a female version of himself. The king was in love. <laughs> with himself? Yeah. Everything they tell us about the king here paints us a pretty good idea of what kind of guy this guy is. He's somebody who is quite narcissistic. Mm hmm. This is it? Can you not follow me? Oh, it's a. Well, goodbye, little ball. Thank you for saving me on this journey so far. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. A blueprint. But it's like live and stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Stop enticing me. This is the devil. The devil's out to get me here. They're all out to get me, I know it. Okay, fine. Go. I hear though. Is it alright if I just. Wow. Well, here's the king's house. Welcome. Welcome one, welcome all. Nothing beyond the edges. No. Well, he's... He's got a base going on down here. It's not a bad base. How do we get over, though? Oh, whoa. Whoa! Is this for real? <gasps> oh my goodness! The brush that we have definitely is a magical brush, because this is amazing. This is nothing short of amazing, holy crap. Okay. If we want to get up... Maybe we need to make something for us to... Um, Step up on. Oh my goodness. 
Okay. How do we get up higher? Hmm. Oh. Wow, you can do this on every surface too. I can't get over this. Nope. We gotta make more. Gotta make more. Just a little bit. And we're up! Wow! Oh my goodness. Hello? Anybody home? No? Do you want me to make the steps? Perfectly? Okay. I guess the stairs should be like... Maybe this thick? And then... Ah! About that thick again. It's gotta be perfect. You don't want to disappoint the king. Oh, it's not perfect. <laughs> oh, did it not work? Like that. Oh, that one was really bad. Whatever. As long as you can use it, it's fine! There we go! Oh! And now we're back here, back to the pool. But with stairs! Yeah, this is where we were earlier, except we couldn't get up. But now we can. We might want to make it quick, though. Spiders and all. Bursting with joy, the king locked himself in his workshop painting gifts for his queen. He never saw her lack of interest, though she made no effort to hide it. The only gift she kept was his first, a little silver paintbrush. Could that be the one I'm using right now? Hmm. The king! Wow, so this- this woman that came out of a painting... Literally came out of a painting. She's like, conscious and she has her own thoughts and everything. The king. His favorite hippo. And his wife. I did see a balloon over here. No, not a balloon. That was a pear. The nursery. Huh? Hmm. I think we need to make the, the ground here. Wow. Are you planning on having kids? Every day, the king painted a new room for the house, and every day he abandoned it as not good enough for his queen. While he slept, the queen spent her nights painting creatures of the forest, though she never finished a single one. Five <laughs> months went by before the king noticed she was pregnant. <gasps> oh. Hang on. The queen is the one who painted creatures. So is the queen WW? Oh. Wow. This guy is too much of a perfectionist! He's losing sight of the things that are important. Let's get that wall done. Oh! Did you see that? I saw it. It's a nice house. 
Nice building and all. Okay, let's get to work. We have to fill up the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh, did it not? Oh, it's not working. Gotta do it properly. Precisely. It's not very precise at all, but it'll do. It'll do. How about... Here. Oh no! Well, better than nothing. Get it all the way here. Oh, it's overlapping, but that's okay. I can't get a one. There we go. I mean, it's a little bit questionable, but... <laughs> There's a little bit of a gap. Just a teeny bit. Okay, we got a big one here. This one should be easy. Got the one. No, we didn't. Okay, we got the one. Now we want... Oh, we have to do this... Or... It's too big. Okay. Let's go right up here. Alright. One. Two. Oh. Come on. Good enough. Beautiful. Beautiful enough. Beautiful enough. Right? Are you not entertained? This is good enough. Good enough, okay? Oh, gotta get that. Hmm. Now we're across. Oh. We probably want to get up there, don't we? There's some swan prints. Oh, this is a little bit high. Yeah. Good thing we can just make another platform. Beautiful. This... this little area here, this little gazebo thing, it kind of reminds me of Edith Finch's house. Cause she had one of these too. Yeah, and the tree. The whole tree thing. And tall. Oh, we can't make anything on top of it. Okay. There we go. And we should be good. Nope. Just a little bit too short. Let's make a bigger one. This one is a little bit too short, too. Good thing we can adjust on the fly. Not a problem. If only the king saw what I was doing right now, he'd probably be seething with anger. <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh. Stairs? <laughs> oh, these white walls. Can we not build on them? Doesn't seem so. We kinda screwed up the stairs. It's fine. We're up. <laughs> mm. Ooh, okay. The swan went up somehow. Hmm. We have to somehow get our way up there. 
which is the... That seems a little bit difficult, actually, because it's quite high up. Maybe we want to, like... Use the walls here. Because we have to be able to walk on top of it, too. Oh, but we can't... Okay. We can't use the white walls, so we have to use... The blue wall here. Not a problem. Right up here. Can almost reach it. Oh, this one might be a little bit too high. Oops. Mm -hmm. Can we reach that? Maybe one more step? That's like a little baby step. Yeah! We're on the wrong side, but that's okay. I think. Yes, it's okay. Oh. Where are you going? We can't get up here. Yeah. Mm-mm. I haven't seen the swan for quite a while now, huh? Seen a lot of prints, but not the actual thing itself. Just like this. It's almost like I'm playing a freeform version of Minecraft or something. This is really neat. Uh, can I jump that far? Yes. Good. Oh. Can walk outside. Why not? Solar panels? Oh, that's probably the panel for us to get back here. And this one. This one went back through too. Okay. <laughs> it's upside down. Oh? Hey. Oh. Is that a reference to Journey? That looks like Journey. <laughs> oh. But no, no, that's not what we're here for. We need to We need to get out of here. So if we jump... Mm, we don't have a lot of blue here. We only have this. Oh, because it's slanted. It keeps going up. Yeah. Oh, sneaky. Here we go. Oh. And we're back here. But now we can go through. Like I said though, I don't think the king would be very happy with me if he knew that I did all this. I think he might be convinced to scrap the whole thing and start anew. Even though that place was supposed to be like the blueprint place, I really enjoyed it. That brush is so good. I love it. Oh. Be careful. Oh, here's the, the tree and the gazebo thing. Cool. I don't know how far we can go, though. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Can we really just walk over there? Oh. I don't see any bats or spiders. Okay, okay. On the night 
before the queen was to give birth, she left. All she took was a single, unfinished painting. When mm. the king woke, he found no explanation, and he never did. Is she trying to tell him a message? Definitely. Oh, and she's pregnant. I feel like that, um, hmm, that gives us a pretty good idea of who Monroe is now. Yeah, the neck is missing. Will the king ever find out? Will the king learn what the queen wanted to say? I guess we'll find out now. Wow. It's still under construction. The King's Monument. For nine years, the King didn't paint a thing. Then, he had a vision. A colossal monument of himself that would be his legacy for the ages. But he hadn't even <laughs> finished painting the scale model, which was over 100 feet tall itself, when his powers began to fail. Hmm... Right, so like any good architect and painter, organized art person, before he actually starts making the real thing, he has to make a model first. Yeah, that makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is it doesn't seem like the king has figured out why he's so alone and everybody's left him. He's very depressed about it though. Didn't paint for nine years. Yeah, this is giving me, um, Edith Finch vibe here. It's not like the monument really looks like her house, but getting those vibes. The king never finished another painting. Then one night he went to sleep and couldn't even finish his own dream. And he's been trapped inside it ever since. Oh. What are we in right now? There's this pet hippo. Oh, that this is what we saw in the telescope before. This exact scene. The king sitting here with the the hippo. Oh. So maybe if we go up there, we'll find the king. But it looks a little bit dangerous and I don't think we're welcome here. I certainly don't feel welcome. Oh, I don't know if we should be walking on top of this. Oh. oh. Should we walk on top of it? Just to try? It's not hurting me yet. Not yet anyway. Can't touch it. No. What can we do here? Oh. Ah. What is that, a lemon? Oh, this whole thing was powered by a lemon. What the heck? <laughs> uh oh. We're drowning, we're drowning. I don't think it's water beneath us, though. Yeah, it's- oh god. Oh no! I can't even see! We gotta go, we gotta go. Really? Different types of mustaches? Woo! No, 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 no! We gotta go! Oh no! Ah! Ah, I thought we could get on the table! Yeah, yeah, there we go. All the stuff the kings painted over the years. Oh, 
Oh. Let's go. The water's still rising. Oh, no time for balloons. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> I got it, but I died. Hurry, hurry. The swan is squawking too. Are we gonna meet the king? As Monroe stood there trying to think of something to say, the statue shut and the hatch slammed shut. And now there was no more need for talking. The king was awake. Oh, the king's dream. So we ended, we first started in the garden. We didn't know where we were, but we started here. We went through the castle to learn that eventually the king was painting or uh, he was constructing a home a statue of himself. And now we're finally in front of the king. What are we gonna find? Ah, it's you, the boy from my dream. What a strange dream it was. My life's work was being destroyed and all I could do was watch. Destroyed? Come, sit here by the fire. It all began right there, in the house I grew up in. I heard a heavy knocking at the door, just like on the night I left. It seems like the king still doesn't understand. Did we really destroy his place? I opened the door, but there was nothing there, just white space. Uh oh. Oh, I'm walking. Uh oh. We have water. That's it. Just white space. Hey, this feels a lot like the beginning. When I got outside, disaster. Some miscreant had painted everything. My garden was ruined. Uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be retelling what the king thinks of what I did. And then my statue spoke and said, Help me! Some little hooligan is running around splattering everything in the garden. I think he's headed for the... <laughs> Something got it by now. <laughs> oh, dear. Whoa. Can we clean up the paint with the water? No, it's not a thing. Especially because the paint was not left by the person trying to clean it right now. Oh. Excuse me. I saw my unfinished labyrinth, abandoned and forgotten. It looks pretty nice and clean. 
Except maybe here. Ooh, do you want to go down? No. No you, no, you don't, right? Because it seems like you're encouraging me to drop down. And then the credits appeared. Your dreams have credits? Oh, <laughs> yes. And subtitles. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's upside down. The labyrinth. The hedge one. Oh! Is this it? I thought there was another chapter waiting for us, but um, maybe not. And it seems like I can't get up here, so maybe what I gotta do is... Use that. To get around? Hmm... Where can we go from here? Yeah... Even if we get on to the crates... It doesn't really lead anywhere. So we gotta find a way across. I guess we're not done yet after all. At least not this part. There are cracks everywhere though, so that makes me think that we can't really go beyond this tile. Hmm. What about here? Look at that. Ooh, art director. Yeah, artists. Hey! Hey, you! Oh! Unbelievable. In the end, I still never found it. Ooh, how do I get out of here? The vine. Oh. Could we make it back though, or how do we want to do this? Okay, maybe we want to um, go back and then climb on the vine. And then I saw my beautiful city <gasps> strangled by those disgusting vines. I built it to stand a hundred lifetimes, and instead it'll be buried in one, a monument for weeds. <laughs> if only the queen could hear what he's saying now. I don't think she'll be very happy. I do understand where the king is coming from, though. Having absolute control over everything. Well, you don't want people to mess up what you do, right? So that's why you would want that. Where can we go? There are cracks everywhere now. Can we go up? I guess. Oh, look at that! A little too high. Give me some vines. One of five. If I jump right now... Where can I go? If I jump, I'm gonna fall that way, right? Not this way. Yup. Okay, well, we gotta... We gotta keep going then. Can we get on the wall? This wall? Yup. If we could only climb all the way over here. Hmm. We can finally walk on the ground again, I think. The dining hall was full of people, like the old days. It smelled like roasted goose. For a moment, I was happy. Hope it's not a swan. Oh. Ah! It's me. It's me. Could I jump in? 
No, it's a mirror. Where is everybody? Then suddenly, I was alone again. The world had become cold and dark. Oh, oh, we're drowning again. I felt my own death rising up around me. Yes, we gotta hurry up. Swan animation. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We gotta keep going. Oh, we don't have this. Oh, no. Maybe this... this will help me here? I don't think we can stand on the ground anymore. How high are you going? Not any higher. Okay. Do you want me to... Um... Yes, you do. Okay, well in that case... I could build a thing, but... What good is it gonna do? Oh! Oh! Whoa! That's... That's amazing! Wow! Mmm, I think this box is a little bit thin. Let's make a bigger box. A flatter box. No, 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 no! Not the one I want. Get it out of here. There we go. Oh, but they're going so fast. I can't even stand on them. <laughs> I gotta pick it up first. Stand right here. I floated past chunks of the house I built, or started building. Scarcely ten years later, and the whole thing was in ruins. My works were meant to last forever, but most of them will be gone <laughs> before I am. Oh! Oh! I was at a funeral. My own, as it turned out. No one was there, except you. The Queen's painting. Couldn't reach it. Monroe. The monument of myself. <gasps> I'm on row again. Oh, wow. There is a king. I'm sure that's on purpose, but I thought Monroe was standing outside, and I was still the king. It's a mirror. Oh. Don't think I want to disrespect him. <laughs> Sorry. I saw my monument. My last hope of leaving something that would live on after me. And I began to walk towards it. My last hope that I would leave off something after me. A little bit ironic considering what Monroe is, who Monroe is, to the king. And with each step I took, I got larger. I just kept growing and growing like a teenager. With a gentle push, my monument crumbled and sank. 
I saw my life's work laid out in front of me. Soon, it would crumble into dust or be painted over by someone who would come after me, the same way I painted over what was here before me. The Unfinished Empire. The Labyrinth. When the universe ended, I knew that everything I'd made was over. And as I sat there, looking out into the darkness, I thought back on all the things I'd built and left unfinished. I realized something. I wasn't sad that it was all gone. I had fun making all that stuff. I would have done it anyway. And then, somehow I knew that when I woke up, all my work really would be destroyed. And that's when you showed up. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. I have something for you. This brush isn't mine anymore. My work is over. It belongs to you now. I hope it makes you happy and that someday they will say, he is a better man than his father. That door will take you anywhere you want to go, but leave quickly, child. None of this will last for long. And that night, even though he was very tired, Monroe did something that would have made his mother very happy. He painted. A complete swan. Oh. And that's the end. I am like in shock again. They did it again! Well, suffice it to say, I think the decision to play this game based off having played Edith Finch was a great decision because I really enjoyed this and it is every bit just as unique as Edith Finch was. Like, this studio, Giant Sparrow, is something else. Not necessarily the most high budget games, but very, very unique. Mm hmm. I definitely feel like this is one of those stories where you have a base level meaning of the actual story itself, but you can make multiple interpretations of what it might actually mean. So um, let's recap what actually happened. Monroe followed a unfinished swan that came out of a painting into another world. And in that world, we were traveling the whole time, kind of messing it up. Although whether what we did was an improvement or something bad is pretty debatable. But in that world, we learn about the king who rules the place. And the overall theme of everything we've seen so far tells us that the king is someone who is very, very narcissistic, very much of a perfectionist, and everything just has to go his way because it's his way or the highway, pretty much. Which I guess might be okay if you could pull it off, but clearly it didn't really do anything good for him because all of his citizens left him, his wife, who he created as a spitting image of himself, <laughs> left him as well. And the king was also kind of obsessed with the idea of permanence of things, things that were meant to last forever. But just like we saw in the end there, he was saying how Monroe, his son, is ruining everything that he created, just like how he ruined everything of the person that came before him. So I feel like by the end there, when he gave up the paintbrush to Monroe, he did finally start to understand that, hey, maybe, maybe all these things that I'm obsessed with is not, is not really what's important. The idea that something is only beautiful if it stays forever, if it's permanent, I think it's easy to see where it comes from, because, you know, we want good things to be there forever. But maybe there's a, there's a type of beauty associated with things that are temporary. Flowers blooming and withering? Youth of humans? Mm hmm. And not just the permanence of things, but like, do things really need to be perfect all the time? Absolutely pristine, no stains, no blemishes? Mm hmm. Very debatable because when we 
when Monroe was ink splattering all over the place and adding vines to everything. That's pretty sweet. It's making use of our creativity. Not that it's wrong, but having always planning things ahead of time and having model scales before you build the whole thing, the actual thing, like, you start following a pattern, right? And it's not necessarily... Like, that kind of stuff really stunts improvisation, which, you know, sometimes is a good thing. Monroe's mom painted a lot, but she never really finished anything. But that's totally okay, right? As long as she had fun and she enjoyed the process. The journey matters too, huh? Yeah, so I feel like those are things that stick out to me right off the bat. Themes of not sticking to perfectionism because that's not necessarily a good thing. And, you know, the journey is what matters too, not just the final results. And I'd love to hear if you have any interpretations for what we can get from the, the story of this game. Mm-hmm. This was The Unfinished Swan with Wellens. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Really unfortunate that I ran into actually quite a bit of capture card issues halfway through, but um, I really enjoyed this game. And I'll be on the lookout for whatever Giant Sparrow releases in the future. Definitely. Alright, I'll see you all in another place in another time then. Bye!